You. Are you from out of town? I'm from Bandis. Is this Shelter 201? I need to speak with your leader. That will be me. My name is Bai Ling. Bandis has not heard from you for days. What happened? The hyenas attacked us, and we're down to our last power supply, food, medicine, and water. The calm is also too damaged to contact anyone. I need you to help me find someone named Sean. Mr. Colador told me this is where he is. Sean? But we don't have a Sean here. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'll ask around. Thank you. Meanwhile, I can help you with problems in the shelter. Just let me know. Water supply is currently our biggest concern. The only purifier broke down and needed a new filter. On top of that, there's no power supply to run anything. The hyenas hijacked all of our spare parts. We have to get the filter back. No problem. Just give me their coordinates and I'll get the stuff back for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. As soon as the power supply is restored, the purifier will start working again. The shelter has a total of three wind turbines. They're all damaged during the attack, but we don't have the tools to repair them. But what about our lack of tools? We lost all of our inventory during the attack. We'll just have to try our luck in bandages. Suggestion. We can return to bandages and ask Crow for help with tools. Please. I'll keep my ears to the ground for news on Sean for you. Good to see you again. I'm wondering if you can help me with something. The wind turbines at 201 are broken. Do you have any tools that we can use to repair them? 201. Oh, where Bai Ling is. Did something happen again? As for tools, let's see. Do you have a set? Here, take it. Oh, thanks. Don't mention it. Just think of it as thanks for fixing the lanterns. Anyway. You should go back. They're waiting for you, aren't they?
Eileen found any clues. Let's go back and ask her. all three generators, so the shelter should have power now. Great! We have clean water again! About Sean, I asked around, but no one's heard of him. Did I get the name wrong and it wasn't Sean? There's another possibility. Not too long ago, several miners dropped by the shelter. All of them fled the Crown Mines. I barely knew them, but maybe one of them is who you're looking for? You can check out their temp housing over there.
Sean Garville? Chucky? Where's my Chucky? Chucky? Uh, I was wondering if you knew a Sean Garville? Do you know where he is? Well, never mind. I'll ask someone else. Tell Chucky to come back! It's not safe out there! Sean, we don't have anybody by that name here. Description, he is one of the miners who fled the Crow ma ma <gasps> mines with you. One of the miners? I know Armadillo, Tamir, and Redford, but I don't know a Sean. Okay, thanks. I'll try someone else. Sean? I do know a Sean, but probably not the Sean you're looking for, since he died years ago. As for him being a miner, you sure you got the name right? Maybe I did get it wrong. Did Sean not use his real name either? Just great. It might have been in the diary. Bola Bob B Brian. We should ask Byling. So, did you find Sean? I only found his journal, and anyone who might know him said they didn't, so maybe he's here under another identity? A false identity? The only clue I have is a kid named Brian. He's living in the shelter. You're looking for Brian? Well, I have no idea where he is either. You can ask his mother, Olivia. look like you're from around here. What trouble did Brian get into this time? I told him to stay home for a couple of days and not to run around. Actually, we just want to ask him a few questions, that's it. He's on the lawn behind the house. Just turn the corner and you'll see. Would you like me to take you? It's okay, thank you. Are you Brian? Unless there's a new kid named Brian in the neighborhood, that would be me. You fixed the water purifier, right? I saw the whole thing. You wouldn't happen to be from Banja's dock, are you? I know you're here to see someone, but you asked the wrong guys. Uncle Ray and Moto have no idea who Sean is. As for Granny Linda, she's been off her rockers ever since Charles went missing and treating Sean like her lost son. You know Sean? Of course. He goes by the moniker Armadillo here. See that big warehouse over there? He's inside. But Miss Bai Ling doesn't let anyone get close. The security cams in the warehouse ran out of juice a long time ago. No one knows what's going on in there. Why is he confined? It's not just him inside. Many who are badly wounded or with damaged suppressors are in there too, waiting for provisions from Banjas. Hopefully it's not too late for them. If you want to see Sean, you gotta go through Bai Ling first. The guards will let you in only with her permission.
by Ling. We located Sean. He goes by Armadillo here and is confined in the warehouse. He is Armadillo? <sighs> Ryan told you everything, didn't he? Unfortunately, Armadillo has... He didn't make it? That's not it. When the power came back on, I checked the security camera and they... already changed. By that, you mean aberration, Miss Byling? I figured if the provisions from Banjis get here in time, they'll be saved. But now... You know what we have to do if they mutated. But they were my friends. I just can't... They're no longer who you know. You can't keep monsters in the shelter forever. <sighs> Alright. I'll get them to open the warehouse. Please help us deal with the... monsters. The appearance in the warehouse escaped! Don't panic. I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to lead you through this disaster. But these monsters are no longer our companions. We must eliminate them. He accomplished his mission. All of the Fallen were once my friends. I'll never forget the sacrifice they made. I'll do my best as a leader. I won't let anyone down. You will certainly <laughs> be an excellent leader, Miss Byling. Thank you for everything you've done for us. The rebuilding is just getting started. You'll always be welcome here. Wait.